on this edition of On Record. Submarines are a growing threat and Elbit Systems' new acquisition expands the company's portfolio of naval solutions. Israeli Air Force pilots reenact Israel's 1967 war, but with modern tech. And Greece will get a new flight training school for the Hellenic Air Force. Hello, I'm Lauren Izo, and we are On Record. Naval warfare is evolving, and submarines are a growing threat. Elbit Systems is expanding its naval portfolio by acquiring Spartan Corporation for $380 million. Spartan develops and supplies sonovoys to the U.S. Navy and to U.S. allies, helping locate enemy submarines. P-3 and P-8 aircrafts, as well as helicopters, are used to drop these sonovoys. This capability complements Elbit Systems' naval electronic warfare, maritime unmanned systems, combat management systems, sonar capabilities, and weapon systems. Elbit Systems will supply an additional J-Music Durkham system for the multinational MRTT fleet, a ninth Airbus A330 MRTT aircraft of the fleet to be equipped with the protection system. Durkham Music Technology protects the aircraft from heat-seeking, shoulder-fired missiles. With hundreds of thousands of operational flight hours accumulated, it is in use on board more than 25 different types of aircrafts. Israeli Air Force pilots in training recently got the chance to reenact missions from the Six-Day War between Israel and Jordan, Syria and Egypt in 1967, but using a modern aircraft, the M346 and Elbit Systems simulating technology. The 102nd Flying Tiger Squadron is responsible for advanced training of the IAF's fighter pilots on the M346. The simulation part of a pilot training course included planning and carrying out realistic missions from airstrikes on enemy territory and intercepting missiles to reacting to emergency situations in real time. The Hellenic Air Force will officially get a new flight training program. In a $1.65 billion deal, Elbit Systems will supply new M346 training aircrafts and will maintain the availability of the entire training fleet, comprised of dozens of M346 and T6 training aircrafts for a period of approximately 20 years. In addition, the company will provide its latest advanced embedded virtual avionics on board the training aircraft, deliver networked flight simulators and an array of ground-based training stations, as well as a command and control system to enable efficient management of the flight training operation. The U.S. Marines will get an upgrade for their night vision with new lightweight systems known as the Squad Binocular Night Vision Goggle, improving clarity, agility, and lethality. Elbit Systems of America will provide the goggles in a $41 million deal. The Marines' monocular night vision systems will be replaced through March 2022. Elbit Systems of America contributed a piece of equipment known as an image intensifier tube to the SuperCam on the NASA Perseverance rover, which landed on the Red Planet earlier this year. The company's existing night vision technology was adapted for the SuperCam rover. It helps soldiers see in dark or low light conditions. Elbit Systems of America has been producing night vision technology in the United States for more than 60 years. That's all for this edition of On Record. For more updates from Elbit Systems, you can visit our Facebook page or YouTube channel, and don't forget to let us know what you think. I'm Lauren Izo. Thanks for watching.